We got that Landorus, and let's see what else do we got. You know, just some average Mega Ultra Rare Pokemon cards. Oh my god! This is the one. Oh my god, this is beautiful. What's good, everybody? Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we got something absolutely crazy. Well, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of funny, it's kind of, it's basically everything in one freaking video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be opening up a strange product that I came across while surfing the internet, basically eBay. Y'all already know I get most of the majority of my weird products, you know, my fake products, you know, all these weird third-party products. I can find them a lot on eBay, and if I do come across them, I totally cop every single one. You feel me? Just so I can show you guys and experience it together with y'all. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I picked up from eBay right here. So we got ourselves a Pokemon chest. Can you guys see that? I'm pretty sure you guys can. I'm pretty sure it's in frame. So we got ourselves a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows tin is what apparently this is. So as you guys can see right here, it specifically says... Burning Shadows. We got a Hakamo'o, which does make sense because it is from the Sun and Moon era. But then we have a Patrat and a Gligar, I believe. is that. Yeah, that's Gligar. I was about to say Gliscor for some reason, but that's Gligar. I have no idea why we have a Johto Pokemon and a Black and White. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Patrat is from Black and White. Like, why are they here? And then we got a Jangmo'o. Then we got the homie Ash Ketchum from Palatown, you feel me? With the homie Pikachu scared of nothing is what it seems like. What, what is Pikachu, guys? Tell me right now, what is Pikachu staring at? Is he scared of Nintendo? Nintendo, what are you doing to Pikachu on the side? You better not be doing anything to the homie Pikachu because apparently he's scared of Nintendo's logo right there. So, I don't know. I ain't trying to accuse anybody of anything, but I'm just telling it how it looks. You feel me? But then we got the almighty official Nintendo seal, which makes this totally a real product. And then on the side, we got him a chop. We got this cheaply made handle. Looks like it's held by paper clips. And then we got a Phantom, I believe is the name. And then on the other side, it's basically the same thing. Pokemon USA, Ink, and all of that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and check out this tin in a little bit. But before we get into this tin, go ahead and smash that like button right now. If you are excited for today's video, make sure you guys subscribe and join the Ghoul Army. And welcome. And don't forget to turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video. Because if you do then you could be featured in a video like these individuals that you see on the screen. All you gotta do is leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army and you are all set. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is I opened up a fake product a while back and I told you guys I was gonna give out all of the ultra rares that I got from that specific fake product. As you guys can see, I put giveaway on the box just so I don't forget. And there's basically gonna be two winners. I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. You have one week to redeem your prize. If not, then I will select new winners on the next fake opening that we do. All the fake giveaways, all the fake cards, and all of that good stuff will remain with the fake videos. I don't wanna, you know, like spread it across the original videos and stuff like that because, you know, they're fake cards and I don't wanna mix in fake cards with real cards, you feel me? Like my entire fake collection is isolated in a shoebox and it's not in my real collection. Like I don't wanna mix in real and fake cards even if it comes down to the videos, you feel me? Does that even make sense? I'm pretty sure it does. In my head, it makes sense, but right when I say it, and now that I think about it, I'm just like, uh, what? But like I said, if your name is on the screen, just shoot me a message on YouTube, and I'll gladly ship out your prize. You know, for all of these giveaways, it's worldwide. But enough blabbering, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go ahead and get right into this tin or chest and see what's inside in three, two, one. Oh my god, okay, I thought I was gonna hit against the chest. Okay, alrighty guys, let's see what's in. No, no. Alrighty guys, so we got basically a block of Pokemon cards. We got an EXGX box? Wait, hold up, this is not supposed to be in here. We got booster packs, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up guys. Let's go ahead and move this tin to the side for now, and let's check out this EXGX box. So it looks like what's inside is we got freaking Pokemon booster packs is what it seems like. We got four Primal Clash packs and that's pretty much it. That is literally pretty much it. Now, if you guys are curious, I believe I paid like around $20 for this tin. I will be putting a picture somewhere right here on the screen just so you guys can see that it's a legit product that I found on eBay. You feel me? Like, obviously, I can't even make something like this. I'm not that creative. Let's be honest here. But apparently, this EX GX box is empty. So let's just go ahead and throw that. I feel like I hit something I'm not supposed to, but it's all good. 
Alrighty guys, the freaking camera is going crazy with the lighting right now. So let's see what we got in this tin. We got a block of cards. So we got a Pikachu full art, a Pikachu EX full art. We got a Magearna EX block. And then we got another Pokemon pack and the lighting. Like I said, the lighting is going stupid insane every time I take out one of these packs right here. And then we got a Kawaii block with a Stuffle foil. Is there anything in the bottom? Is there? Nope. It's just storage. I mean, let's be honest. These things are pretty good for storage. They seem like you can store a lot of cards in these chests or tins, but that's not the case. I might put all my, you know, fake cards in this tin because why not? It's storage, you feel me? It's storage. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You can actually use this for school and whatnot. It could fit like a whole lunch, a whole meal in there. Oh my God, that, that did not sound good. I feel like I might have dented that chest now, but we're gonna save these booster packs for last. Actually, let's open up these packs first and then we'll get into like these mysterious cube looking things. So guys, we got the Primal Clash booster pack. Let's see what we get out of our first fake pack of Primal Clash. But before we get into this entire opening, in the comments down below, this is going to be kind of like the question of the day slash question I want you guys to answer. How many fake ultra rares do you think we are going to pull in today's video? So you guys already know fake cards, fake packs, fake products are known for having a ton of ultra rares. So I'm curious to see how many we're going to get in this video. So right off the bat, we got a miscut Dark Ride GX right here looking so freaking horrible. My god. Okay, we got one ultra. Like I said, leave your guess in the comments down below. And since we pulled one, my guess is going to be 100 ultra rares. That's my guess. That's going to be my guess. And if you guys are close to the actual answer, then you basically won. So guys, let's keep it rolling and let's see what else do we got. So we got a backwards card right here. We got an energy and a phantom holographic and my, my, my. That is probably one of the worst holographic like pattern foils I've ever seen. Like, it basically looks laminated and whatnot. It looks horrible. Like, what's going on here? These are some low-quality fake cards. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But let's keep it rolling, guys. And let's see what else do we get. We got a Brooklet Hill holographic. We got a Passimian. Do we get an Ultra in this pack? No, we do not. So it looks like these Primal Clash packs, they don't guarantee an Ultra. We got a Heliolisk, Fire Energy, and we got a Tapu Fini, full freaking art. Let's go, full throttle, everybody. Does that even make sense to say it in a Pokemon card opening? I don't even know. But let's keep it rolling, guys, and let's see what else. We got a Sogaleo Reverse is what it seems like. I'm pretty sure those are reverses. And we got another Darkrai GX. Talk about variety, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about variety. Like, come on. Now, if you're gonna make fake Pokemon cards, you can basically make any type of fake card you want. At least give me like a first edition fake Charizard or something along those lines. I'd appreciate that very, very much. But we got three Ultra Rares so far. And now we're gonna get into these like cube-like things and let's see exactly how many Ultra Rares are in these cubes. So we're gonna get into this Kawaii Full Art. If I can open it, how do I open this? Okay, there we go, we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. So we got the homie Kawaii in the cut. Full freaking art, y'all already know what it is. And oh my God, this card is so damaged. Look at all of those dents on the card. Like, come on now, dude. If you're, if you're gonna give me, like, a cube of Pokemon cards, at least give me them in near mint condition, even though they're fake. So we got ourselves another Darkrai GX. Where is the variety, bruh? Where is the variety? I don't see no type of variety. We got three of the same GX card back to back. And the quality of these fake cards are just absurd. But we got ourselves a Salazzle GX, a.k.a. This is the queen, queen of all Pokemon right here. It even has it on the GX attack, Queen's Haze. But on the real, everybody, I absolutely love this Pokemon. It was on my main team for Ultra Sun and Moon. So was this Turtonator right there, as you guys can see. And let's see, only two Ultras in this cube? Come on now, that's weak. That is weak. Like, you can make any fake card you want, and you decide to give, like, barely any Ultra Rares? Like, what's wrong with you? You should be punished in the fake Pokemon card community. Is that even a thing? I highly doubt it is. I hope it's not a thing, but it is what it is. You feel me? Which cube should we get into next? Let's save that Machamp, or Machoke, I should say. And Pikachu, let's save Pikachu for last. And let's see what's in this uh, Magearna cube right here. How do you open this, though? How do you open this? Oh, my God. Guys, how do you open this cube? Y'all gonna have to give me a second because I can't figure this out. One eternity later. 
Oh my god, after all of these years, we finally got it open. Oh my god, that took so freaking long. They should have like a pull tab. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. This thing is like everything is stuck together. I think we might have opened up one of these in the past because the cards feel so familiar. But let's see what we get, guys. We got a Magirna! A Magirna! Oh my god. That is no joke right there. We got a Mega Kangaskhan. We got an Alakazam EX. But guys, do you know where this Mega Alakazam EX is from? Like, just look at the artwork. Doesn't it look familiar? Yeah, this is from the pack art of Fates Collide. Oh my god. That's actually really dope. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, the quality of the card, like the artwork, it looks like, you know, one of those people that make custom cards. That's what this looks like. That's actually really, really dope. I'm definitely gonna put that to the side. That is a really, really cool card. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Alakazam, it's still pretty cool to look at, you feel me? But let's keep it rolling, and let's see what else we got. Now, the rainbow... Oh my god, that holographic pattern? It's, like, way too much. It's like they overdid it. Like, what's going on? What's wrong with Snorlax's eyes? That dude looks possessed. We got the... Oh no, not the white Kiram. How are you gonna do my boy like that? Come on now. We got the Mega Audino right here. It looks like a pink card. Is it always like that? I don't even know. Look at the set number. 12 out of 18. Is that even a thing? Is there even an 18 card set in XY? We got the Full Art Groudon though. From one of the black and white sets I believe. Or it might be from Primal Clash. I'm not too sure. We got the Dark Rite action coming through. We got the Sylveon GX. So we do have some newer cards mixed in with this set. We got a Pikachu with a Gengar. You know just a ton of freaking Ultra Rares right here guys. And then after I check out all of these cubes, I'll let you guys know how many Ultra Rares exactly are in these cards. And I actually got to bend these a little bit just to, you know, tear them apart so they're not stuck to each other. But we got the Megazard EX, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know it's always, always nice to get them Charizards, you feel me? So we got Ash Greninja, you know, nothing too crazy right now. We basically got, you know, your average... EX GX cards as you guys can see right here. We got the Charizard full freaking art This card is beautiful when you actually have it in person and it's real. It is absolutely beautiful But guys, let's see what we got right here. We got basically but guys check out the difference from the cards We got from the pack and like some of those cues basically the ones that don't have an ultra on the front compared to the one we actually got from a cube that literally has ultra rare after ultra rare, it is just absolutely crazy like i do love the feel of these better than these but overall you know they're fake cards you can't really praise them too much but guys that's actually pretty dope right now we got a ton of ultra rare, so you've better guessed a lot because if you didn't then you're probably going to be wrong but we got ourselves the this is the one i actually really really like and then I'm probably going to put like in a fake collection binder. And then once we get a ton of weird looking Pokemon cards, I'll probably create a video specifically towards, you know, looking and finding weird Pokemon cards. I think that would be a pretty, pretty cool series. You feel me? Well, not really a series, but an episode. But without further ado, guys, let's keep it rolling. Let's check out this Machoke. Uh, looks like a little cube, I guess you can call them. I don't know if I should call them mystery cubes. Or just regular Pokemon cubes. But let's go ahead and see what we get right here. We got the Machoke Hollow, Weeping Bell, another Dark Ride GX. Where is the variety? And all of these cards, they look like duplicates. We got a Salazzle GX. Once again, where is the variety? And all these, a uh, Kawaii, bro. This is like the exact same cube as the previous one we opened. Literally, it's the exact same one. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, bruh? Where is the variety that you're gonna give me? I mean, at least we got a ton of ultras from these cubes, the ones with the seal around them. Now, I have no idea why these were actually thrown in with the other booster packs and the other cubes, because it looks like these don't really belong with those. And oh my god, we actually got it perfectly! Yo, that's crazy. Okay, let's see what we get, guys. Once again, this cube, I actually need to fold these cards just to put them apart. There we go. So we got ourselves an Agron GX, a blue Agron GX is what it seems like. Or why am I saying GX? That's an EX. I know someone's still going to comment otherwise saying you said Agron GX. Like that always happens even though I correct myself. But we got the Blastoise full freaking art to go with that Charizard full art. And then we got a bunch of GX cards right here. Do we get any gold cards or anything along those lines? Look at that Holofoil pattern on Magnezone. That actually goes stupid insane. I actually really like that. And oh my god! Did Meloetta always have green hair, bro? I remember this card is purple hair, not green. 
That's actually pretty interesting. That might be like a shiny Meloetta they replaced or something like that. But we got the shiny Metagross right there, you know, with that gold trim looking pimped out, you feel me? And then we got that Rayquaza Full Art, Full Art, back to back. We got that Landorus. And let's see what else do we got. You know, just some average Mega Ultra Rare Pokemon cards. Oh my god! This is the one. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is actually the Breakthrough Mewtwo Pack Art put into a card. I definitely have to add this to my Mew and Mewtwo collection. Like, this is definitely a hands down. Actually, actually, hold up, hold up. I'm actually going to put in a Penny Sleeve because it's a fake card. I only want to give real cards, you know, the sturdier sleeve or actual custom cards. You know, like custom cards that aren't meant to be passed on as fakes like this one right here. But check out this card, bro. That's actually really, really dope. I'm actually glad I got that, honestly. That's probably like the best card. I don't think anybody can beat it. But we got a burning shadow they're trying to give off like that gold trim on this burning shadow like no it's not working bruh and then we got that tapu lele and you know i got that hey hey that made absolutely no sense but i usually say that when we pull a tapu coco because of the song but we got a tapu lele right there and y'all already know how i feel about that card we got godzilla in the cut vaporeon venusaur volcanion and then we got that zygarde with the fates collide pack art i'm pretty sure this is the fates collide pack art correct me if i'm wrong but if i'm wrong i'm probably going to correct myself on the screen but guys that's crazy that is crazy i actually like getting you know unique fake cards like that because it's actually interesting to look at you feel me so guys check this out these are basically the cards i actually really liked not the blastoise and tapu lele it's probably these four that i'm probably gonna add to my exclusive my infamous fake card collection you feel me i got like a small little binder that's basically dedicated to all fakes you feel me like you gotta have one at least if you open up fake cards but the majority of the fake cards i get i usually just give them away because I have no purpose for them, you feel me? But like I said, we got the Zygarde EX, Mewtwo EX, Meloetta EX, and Mega Alakazam as our highlights. And then finally, what you guys have been waiting for. Let me, give me a second. I need to count up all of these Ultra Rares to see exactly how many did we get in today's opening. So give me one quick second, y'all. Alrighty, everybody, I counted up all of the Ultra Rares. This is a 50 stack, this is a 50 stack, and this is an 8 stack of Pokemon cards. So we basically pulled 108 Ultra Rare Pokemon cards in today's video. So if your guess was anywhere from 100 to 110, then you're basically on point, you feel me? So very, very nice to get all of these Ultra Rares. Well, they're basically fake, so it's not like it's super nice, but it's a very, very fun opening to do. And like I mentioned before, if I ever see like unique fake products along the way, I'm probably going to unbox them for you guys, but it's not going to be a repetitive thing on the channel, you feel me? I've been opening up way more real cards and fake cards, obviously, because I don't want to make this like a fake channel, you feel me? Like we've been going ham on the Dragon Majesty Gold Hunts, and hopefully you guys are enjoying that. I feel like we're close to that gold Ultra Necrozma. With that being said, everybody, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And also, I'm probably going to give away all of these Ultra Rares, but after the winners have claimed the previous prize that I announced in the beginning of the video, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.